Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to play another game from the 1977 Boston Red Sox season. Um, we're going to have Gaylord Perry back on the hill for his second start. He lost his first start 3-1, to one, but pitched a, had a fine outing. So we're going to see if he fares a little bit better against the Oakland Athletics. Um, he was scheduled to pitch yesterday against the California Angels, uh, against Frank Tanana, but that game, I think it got rained out because um, I went to go play it, and it just said it was postponed or it was was something happened where it couldn't continue it and i looked at the schedule and it was blank so i'm guessing it was probably postponed um but anyway gaylord perry's back on the hill today against stan Bahansen for the oakland athletics he is currently 0-4 um with a 4.60 era so the lineup for the red sox i tweaked it around a little bit um kind of went with their expectations a little bit more uh Toby Hara wanted to go middle, middle of the lineup, so I figured maybe he'll be happier there. So I put him down in the sixth spot and moved some stuff around there. So Rick, Bur Rick Burleson, the shortstop, leads off. Denny Doyle, the second baseman, bats second. Rusty Staub, LeGrand Orange, bats third. Batting cleanup, Jim Rice. Batting fifth, the catcher, Carlton Fisk. Batting sixth, Toby Hara, third baseman. Batting seventh, the first baseman, George Scott. Batting 8th, Dwight Evans, the right fielder. And batting ninth, Freddie Lynn. And I know I kind of have a bunch of righties in a row there, but um, I figured I'd try this lineup and see how it goes. And move stuff around there. And I couldn't find exactly where team chemistry was. Um, I just went kind of in, into individual chemistry and see how they, if they were happy or not. And most of the guys were either happy or satisfied. I didn't have anybody that was angry or upset. So I guess that's good. Um, but if there's a special page where you find team chemistry out, please let me know. I just couldn't find it on here. But anyway, um, so Rick Burleson leads it off. He comes in hitting 243 with five runs batted in. And he'll be taking the first pitch. Mr. Brody, the GM, is here to check on his team. We've lost four in a row since the acquisition. So see if we can improve upon that and get a victory today. We definitely have a, a good pitching matchup here to, to get that victory. And strike called, 0-1. Oh and, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. So a good start for the Red Sox as Burleson reaches on a single to left. Danny Doyle up now. We'll have him take a pitch here, too. And that's going to be a strike. And Doyle has an eye of 40. And Bahansen is a stuff of 45, movement of 55, and control of 55. And he gives this one a ride. And Doyle hits one out of here for his first home run of the season. My second home run of the season, sorry. And yes, the Oakland Athletics are calling out the ambulances on that one as Doyle killed that ball. The Red Sox take a 2 to nothing lead on the two-run homer by Denny Doyle. So a great start for the Red Sox. This is what they needed. Get multiple runs in the first here. And, well, why not? We'll have Staub take a pitch here, too. So 0-1 count. Yeah, that's going to be hit to the opposite field. Mr. Brody's happy with that. Not happy with that fly out, but so one gone. Jim Rice up now. Rice comes in hitting three, 296 with five homers and 17 runs batted in. And we'll have him take a pitch to... Looking at the wrong side here. Hold on. Wrong side there, looking at the right side from Bahansen. And I am going to, I'll have Rice, uh, and for some reason Rice's picture is missing again. Don't know why that's happening. And yeah, we'll have him swing away here. And that's going to be a base hit. Just over the head of the shortstop. So Rice will reach. And Eric Williams has got a catcher arm of 50. So the outfield around Hansen is Page, Armis, and Tyrone. Page and Armis above average 
defensively with 70 arms, so above average arms, and Tyrone average in right. It'd be Gross, Piccolo, Scott, and Allen in the infield. Pretty much all average there. And behind the plate, Eric Williams average and Bonson on the mound. So Rice on with a one out and two runs already in for the Red Sox and the two run bomb by Doyle. Brings up Carlton Fisk. Fisk is hitting 284 with three homers and 12 runs batted in. And we will have him swing away because he's 429 on the first pitch. And he draws the walk. So Toby Hare up now. Hitting just 184 with two homers and eight runs batted in. And we'll have him take a pitch. And it's going to be ball one. We'll take another one. Two and another count. Hitters count now, so we'll have him swing away here. And he draws the walk. So the base is loaded now. For George Scott. Scott hitting just 200 on the first pitch. So we'll have him take one. 230.55 on the season with five homers and 22 runs bet in. So a chance for George Scott to blow the game wide open. Swing away here. And that's going to be a base hit, so that's going to draw a run. As Mr. Brody is pretty happy with that. Alrighty, so the Red Sox have now have a 3 to nothing lead. Alright, base is a little once again. Now for Dwight Evans. Still only one out. And Evans will take a pitch here. Chance of the Red Sox to blow it wide open now. Ball one. Low. Take another one. Fastball inside to a 2 0 count now. So Evans, 462 hitter when he's hitting the count, 6 for 13. So we're going to swing away here. And this one's going to be hit deep to center field. It's going to fall in. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Two runs come in. Evans is going to try to reach from the triple. And he's going to try for the inside the park home run. And Evans, with an inside the park grand slam. Unbelievable. Inside the park granny for Dwight Evans. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Wow, and the Red Sox break it wide open. 7 nothing now. This is what they needed. So a base inside the park grand slam. <laughs> Seen it all now. I wonder if that's an achievement on the uh, inside, uh, out of the park baseball 18. If not, it should be. Wow. So Hanson's still out there. I can't believe it. Red Sox still only have one out. Take another pitch here. He's still in out there. And they're all earned runs. So 0 and 1 count on Lynn. Swing away. And Lynn is going to lace this down the line. That's going to go all the way to the wall. He's going to be up at second with a stand up double. So they continue to beat on Bonson. So the Red Sox have batted around now. Rick Burleson up. Still only one out. Lynn in scoring position. We'll keep taking a pitch here. Misses away. And we'll take another pitch. Why not? 2 0 the count. And we'll take another one. And two and one. And he hits this one down the line. This one goes right down the line. Gross unable to get to it. 
And Burleson will have himself an RBI double. And it's 8 nothing now, Red Sox. So the Red Sox putting a shellacking on Oakland. And we're not even out of the top of the first. Continue our method here. Let's take a pitch. One and zero, oh. and three twenty ahead in the count is Doyle. So we'll let's have him swing away. And that one's got to be hit deep to center. Armis is under it and makes the catch. Burleson scoots back to second. So two down now for the Grand Orange, Rusty Staub. He made the only out up until Doyle. I'll have him take a pitch here. The ball one. Swing away. And he'll draw the walk. So Bonson's troubles continue here. I can't believe he's still in there after giving up eight runs. Runners on first and second. Jim Rice up now. Rice one for one. Rice um, didn't take a pitch too. This is low. 1 and 0. 12 for 24 heading to count, so he's going to hit away. And he gives this one a ride to center. And Armis is there to make the catch. And mercifully, the inning is over. But the Red Sox score eight times, highlighted by the inside the park grand slam by Dwight Evans. <laughs> and the Red Sox have a commanding eight to nothing lead as we head to the bottom of the first. So Perry with a good setup here, eight run lead now. All he's got to do is throw strikes now. So the Oakland lineup is as follows: Rodney Scott, the second baseman, bats first. Tony Armas, who later become a Red Sox in the eighties, bats second and plays center field. Batting third, the left fielder Mitchell Page. Batting cleanup, Wayne Gross, the third baseman. Batting fifth, Bill North, the DH. Batting sixth, Eric Williams, behind the plate. The right fielder, Jim Tyrone, bats seventh. Rob Piccolo is your shortstop, batting eighth. And the first baseman, Dick Allen, the aging veteran, bats ninth. So Perry. Comes in with a record of 2-3 and three on the season. 0-1 as a Red Sox. 48 and a third innings pitch. 35 hits allowed. 14 earned runs. 14 walks and 36 strikeouts. The area of 261. So here we go. Rodney Scott comes in hitting 244 with four runs batted in. That'll be bounced up the middle just past Remy. So lead off single for Scott. Brings up Tony Armas hitting 231 with two homers and 10 runs batted in. Scott will be holding him on. And he's got a Armas has only got a 35 for an eye, so we're gonna pinch around him. And he's off with the pitch to Scott. And he's in there. Amazing. He's running with down by eight, but He's able to steal it successfully. So 0 1 count on Armis. And that's going to be hit down the line. Harrow with it. Over to Scott. For out number one as Scott holds at second. So that'll bring up Mitchell Page. Mitchell Page comes in hitting 327 with three homers and 16 runs batted in. Strike three, yeah. And he strikes him out. So Perry with his first K of the day. Gets Mitchell. Page. That'll be Wayne Gross up now. Wayne Gross comes in hitting 260 with four homers and 23 runs batted in. 3 2 pitch. And that's going to be hit to right. Evans going back and makes the catch just shy of the warning track to retire the side. So after one full, it's Boston 8 and Oakland nothing.
Red Sox up here in the second. We'll send Fisk, Hera, and Scott up. So I'm already liking this new lineup here. <laughs> Hansen's still out there. I cannot believe he's out there. We have not driven him from the game yet, unbelievably. So Fisk will swing away here. And that's going to be a base hit to the opposite field. So Fisk on with a leadoff single. Going to bring up Toby Hera. We'll have Hera take a pitch here. 0-1 oh, to count. And swing away. And he gives this one a ride. This one's going to the gap, but Arms is able to... Hold on, what happened there? Oh, Fist tagged up from first and is able to get into scoring position, so... He saw that that was going to be a tough play for Armas, crashing against the wall. So Fisk alertly went back to first and tagged up. So he's in scoring position now with one down. As Kara gave that one a ride. Made a bid for a home run there. So Scott up now. He's one for one with an RBI. And an RBI single. Back in the first. And we'll have him take a pitch here. And that's going to be... Fastball inside. Swing away here. And that's going to be hit to the shortstop Piccolo. He retires him for out number one. All right, sorry, at number two. Brings up Dwight Evans now, who had an inside the park home run, Grand Slam home inside the park home run. And he will take a pitch here. And that's going to be a curveball for ball one. And he will hit away, 7 for 14. And he draws the walk. So, Monson being very careful with Evans that time. Puts runners on first and second with two down. Lynn, one for one. He'll take the pitch here. And that's going to be up high for ball one. And he's going to hit this one. Oh, and the right fielder, William, I mean, uh, Tyrone makes a nice diving catch there to keep the Red Sox from adding anything to their 8 nothing lead. So we'll head to the bottom of the second. The Red Sox up 8 nothing. So it'll be North Williams and Tyrone up against Perry. North hitting 202 with a homer and 7 runs batted in. And he strikes out. Perry's second K of the day. So that brings up the catcher, Eric Williams. Hitting just 179 with a homer and 20 and five runs batted and just 28 at bats. And he hits this one to the opposite field. Evan goes back, but this one is going to be gone. So Eric Williams hits his second home run of the year to get Oakland on the board. Perry shakes that one off. So that brings up the right field of Jim Tyrone, who made a great diving catch last inning. Hitting 318 on the season with four homers and 18 runs batted in. And he strikes him out. Gets him to chase a bad one there. So three Ks now in the day for Perry. That brings up the shortstop Rob Piccolo, hitting 224 with seven runs batted in. He's got a poor eye, too, so we're going to... And that's going to be a bouncer to Scott. Waves off Perry. Takes it to the bag himself. And that'll do it for Oakland in the second. But they score a run on the solo home run by Eric Williams. So that'll be at the top of the order. Burleson, Doyle, and Staub here in the third. Burleson, two for two so far with an RBI. 
and that one is going to be a ball, one one inside. I'll take another one, why not? And curve ball over for strike one. For us, you don't like that call. Swing away here. And that one's going to drop in for a base hit. So Burleson's going to have his third hit of the day. Three for three now. So that brings up Denny Doyle. Anson's still in there. And another base hit. As Burleson stops at second. So first two runners on for the Red Sox here in the third. And it'll bring up Rusty Stubb. 0 for 1 so far. I believe he did draw a walk also. 0 for 1 with a walk. And we'll have him take a pitch here. Yeah, it's going to be a strike. And he hits this one to the opposite field. Left fielder Page has it. Runners head back to their bases. So one down now, and the Red Sox third. So Jim Rice up now. Rice one for two on the day. And he strikes him out on three pitches. So Rice goes down. So two outs now. Fiscal one for one with a walk. And 429 on the first pitch. We'll have him swing away. 1-1 one, one pitch. And it's going to get to the second baseman over to first. And that'll do it for the Red Sox in the third. So after two and a half, it's Red Sox eight to one. Barry back on the hill. He'll face bottom of the order, Allen, followed by Scott and Armis. Allen hitting just 186 with a homer and four runs batted in. One zero pitch. Hits out to left. Rice has got it sized up and makes the catch. So that brings up top of the order, Scott. Scott one for one. And that's going to be hit to Scott at first. Fires over to Perry covering. And Scott is out by a step. So two quick outs in the Oakland third. Brings up Tony Armis. Armis 0 for 1. And that's going to be a ground ball to third. Hair up with it. Oh! Scott cannot dig it out. And another error on Hera. His second error in five games for the Red Sox. As Armis reaches with two out, with two outs. That brings up Mitchell Page. He's 0 for 1. Scott holding Armis on. And he strikes him out. So the error doesn't prove costly as Perry gets his fourth K. And after three full, it's Boston eight and Oakland one. Anson back on the hill again. Harrow will lead it off. Here, 0 for 1 with a walk. Takes a pitch. Inside corner for a fastball, strike one. Strike three. One two pitch and gets him. Swing and a miss for strike three. So one down in the Red Sox fourth. Brings up George Scott. He's one for two with an RBI. Takes a strike. Three two count and gets him. So Bonson with his third K. It's also walked for. Dwight Evans had himself an inside the park homer. Inside the park grand slam back in the first. And walked his last time up. Take a pitch here. Blow with a slider. We'll take another one. Fastball inside 2 0. Let him hit away now. 
You just want to ride to center, but center field there. Armas has it for out number three. So the Red Sox go in order in the fourth. And lead by seven going to the bottom home half of the fourth. So Gross leads it off. 0 for 1 on the day. And that's good. He's going to walk on the full count pitch. So lead our runner is on for Oakland. Brings up North, who's 0 for 1. Scott holds Gross on. And next could be two. Burleson will be running before him back to first. And I don't think they got it there in time. Nope. North beats the return throw. So Fielder's Choice gets the lead runner. So one down. North at first for Williams, who hit a solo home run his last time up. And he makes a smash to Tara. Comes up with it, but... Oh, it's a liner. They say he caught it. So an excellent catch by Hera there. Thought he trapped it, but he's able to make the catch. As North retreats back to first. So two down now for Jim Tyrone. 0 for 1. And that's going to be a base hit. Drops in front of Rice as North moves to third. So they'll put runners at the corners for Rob Piccolo. Piccolo 0 for 1. 241 here with the runners in scoring position. And this is going to be a fly ball to center. Lynn ranges to his left, sizes it up, and makes the catch. So nothing doing for Oakland in the fourth. And after four full, it's Red Sox 8 and Athletics 1. Fred Lynn seems to have changed his picture again. <laughs> so Fred Lynn back to the generic. He's one for two on the day. He'll take a pitch. And in there for a fastball, 0-1. And, and gives this one a ride to right. Tyrone's there to make the catch. Pulls it in for out number one. Rick Burleson. Burleson a perfect 3-for-3 three three today with an RBI. Takes one here. Down the middle for strike one. And hits the 0-1 pitch. Over to third. Gross fields it. And fires to first for out number two. It's Danny Doyle. He's 2-for-3 with a two-run shot. Get the Red Sox on the board back in the first... Started off an eight-run rally, capped by Dwight Evans inside the park grand slam. Yes, you heard that right, inside the park grand slam. Strike three, you're out. And Doyle will strike out. No runs, no hits or errors. And after, and halfway through, it's Boston eight and Oakland one. Dick Allen will lead it off against Perry. Perry cruising along so far. The only blemish a solo home run by Eric Williams. And that's going to be hit to the upside just past the dive of Scott. And Allen's going to have himself a leadoff single here in the fifth. Brings up Rodney Scott. Mr. Brody repositions himself in the coaching box. The dugout there. Mr. Brody getting antsy here. So Scott's one for two on the day. Allen not a threat to steal. And it's going to be a little dribble in front of the plate. And Fisk fires the second. And gets upended by Allen. So it's unable to get the return throw. But they do get the lead runner. So Scott on on a field this choice. Brings up Tony Armas. Armas 
looking for his first hit of the day. And it's going to be a steal, and Scott's in there with his 19 stolen base. So Scott in scoring position now. So Oakland get, getting risky here, trying to generate some offense here. Down by 7. 3-2 pitch on Armis. Slow roller, and Rolson can't do anything with it, so he holds on to it. Probably a wise choice. Gonna put runners at the corners. Red Sox playing back. Open the turn two. Up by seven. Page in search of his first hit. And strikes him out. Strikes him out on. I'm not sure what that pitch was. Perhaps a spitter there. <laughs> so five Ks now in the day for Perry. So Perry went out away from getting out out of it. Gross 0 for 1 with a walk. Strike. And strikes him out. So Perry up now 6 Ks now as he strikes out the last two batters. And we'll head to the top of the 6 with the Red Sox with a commanding 8-1 lead. Legra and Orange up now. Looking for his first hit. Has walked once. And Draws his second walk of the day. So five walks for Bonson. I'm surprised he's still in there. Although he has been shut down since that rough first inning. Jim Rice one for three on the day. Staub gets his lead up first. And Rice gives this one a ride. But Armis is there to make the catch. The first out of the sixth. Fisk one for two steps into the box, and he draws the walk. So runners on first, and Matt Keogh is in there now. So the day is done for Bonson. He's responsible for both Staub and Fisk. Oh, actually, he's not. He must have just started this inning. So he's not. I guess uh, Keogh must have started this inning. I just didn't see it. So one out, and... For two run runners on first and second for Toby Hera. We'll take a pitch here. And that's going to be down the middle. Belt high for strike one. And that's going to be a ground. This could be two over to second for one. Back to first. And he's safe as Hera beats it out. So runners at the corners. Two down for Scott. Chance for him to get his second RBI of the day. He'll take one here. Low for ball one. And he's going to give this one a blast. This one's going a long way. Going, going, and... Page makes the catch. So the Red Sox have been shut down pretty much since that first inning. Just a couple of hits here and there. And we'll head to the home half of the six with the Red Sox up... Still eight to one. It's been that way since the th since the top of the third. Perry back out there again. Perry up to ninety-seven pitches through five innings. Kind of a high pitch count. North up first. North search of his first hit, and it's going to hit down the line. Harry has it. Fires over to Scott. Great play by Hera there. One down. Eric Williams. One for two with a solo home run. The only run Oakland has scored so far. And Perry gets him this time on the one-two pitch. Jim Tyrone. One for two. And strikes him out. So Perry now with 8 Ks on the day. Cruising right along here. Alrighty. Right, seventh inning. Top of the seventh inning now with the Red Sox with a commanding 8 to 1 lead. Matt Keogh on the hill for a second inning of work. Dwight Evans steps to the plate. Evans having a fine day. 
just one for two with a couple of walks, but that one hit was an inside the park, a grand slam back in the first inning. So Evans steps up into the box. Keel looks in for the sign from Williams. Nods his head. Winds up and delivers. Evans will be taking. And it's in there for a strike. So 0 and 1 the count. Evans will swing away. 0 1 count. Wind up in the pitch. And Page makes the one handed grab to retire Evans. So one down in the Red Sox seventh. Then a ring to bring to the plate Fred Lynn as all the pictures are starting to disappear here. <laughs> so Fred Lynn, one for three on the night. He'll take the first pitch. And it's going to be a ball, misses low. Swing away. And that's going to be a base hit to left, just out of the reach of the second baseman, Scott. So Lynn is on with a one-out single. Red Sox have been pretty quiet since the first inning. Burleson up now. Burleson comes in three for four in the day, having a fine day with a run batted in. And he'll take the first pitch. And that's going to be in there for a strike. And he's hitting 300 when he's ahead in the count here. Swing away. And he draws the walk. So the runner's on first and second with one down. Denny Doyle up now. Doyle two for four with a two run sh homer back in the first. Get the Red Sox. Scoring started. He'll swing away. And he strikes out. So Doyle is retired for two outs now in the seventh. So that'll bring up Lagrand around. Rusty Staub, hitless on the day. Has walked a couple of times. We'll take a pitch here. And that's going to be a ball low and outside with the screwball. Swing away here, heading to count 286 hitter. And this one's going to fall into the gap. One run's going to come in. And Burleson around third. Ball is very deep. Burleson is an average runner. Armour says a cannon for an arm. No, we're going to hold him. So Staub gets himself an RBI double. And the Red Sox increase the lead now 9-1. to one. So runners on 2nd and 3rd for Jim Rice. 1-4 for four in the day. We'll have him take a pitch here. Ball 1-0. and oh. Hitting 500 when he's ahead in the count. And he's definitely ahead in the count now. 12 for 24. Swing away. And that's going to be a ground ball. And... Shortstop Piccolo has no shot, so he decides to hold it. Another run comes in, so Rice gets himself an RBI infield single. Red Sox now in double digits. 10-1 is their lead. So Fisk up now, 1-2. for two. Setting 429 in the first pitch, so we're going to swing away here. And that's going to go in the second baseman. Scott makes the catch. But the Red Sox add two. And we go to the seventh, bottom of the seventh, seventh inning stretch time here in Oakland with the Red Sox up 10 to 1. We haven't seen this run production in a long time. In the first one time since they've required all their new players here. So Gaylord Perry back for his seventh inning of work here. Alrighty, home half of the seventh. It'll be Piccolo, Allen, and top of the order Scott up against Perry. Perry's up to 80 pitches through six innings. So he's been a little bit more economical the last couple innings. After a high pitch count after the first four innings. 
So Piccolo steps into the box. He's 0 for 2 today. And Perry will pitch around him once again. And that's going to be a ground ball to Burleson. Fires over to Scott. One gone in the seventh. So Perry having another great line today, even better than his first start. That brings up Dick Allen, who's one for two. And that's a smash to Hera. Fields it. Fires over to Scott for out number two. That bring up top of the order Scott. He's one for three. Very looking to get a one, two, three inning here. And he will not get it as it gets hit, but just by the reach of Scott. Fires into <clears throat> Doyle at second. So Scott is on with a two out single. Brings up Tony Armas. As Miss Nance is in the room here. So Armas comes in one for three on the day. Perry kicks and delivers, and he's going to be off with the pitch, and safe. So you get a great jump. Stole that one definitely off of Perry there. Hey, Miss Mags. Mags has come to see me here in the host seat. All right, so 20 stolen bases now for Scott. 1-1 one, one pitch on Armis. Here's the pitch. Ground ball to Burleson. Charges it. Over to Scott. And that'll do it. So after seven full, the Red Sox with a commanding 10-1 lead. So Harrow will lead it off for the Red Sox here in the eighth. Harris hitless on the day. I believe he did walk once. But that would be a nice little feature to add. Like right maybe... And a little box down here, right by the crowd here, back of home plate. Or somewhere in the middle here, just put what they did so far. Or up above the bullpen. Something, just something to indicate what they did for the day would be nice. Alright. So Harris is going to take a pitch here. Keo back out on the hill for his third inning of work. And it's going to be in there for a strike. And that's going to be a ground ball. Fires over to first. Piccolo with it. For out number one. George Scott up now. Scott one for four with an RBI. I'll have a swing away. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball to Scott. Over two. Allen at first. And we've got two quick outs in the Red Sox seventh, uh, Red Sox eighth. Dwight Evans up now, one for three with a inside the park homer back in the first. No, I'm swing away. Why not? And a one-one pitch hit deep out to right. That'll fall, drop in there. Evans is going to motor all the, way, all the way around the third, and he's going to have himself a triple. So Evans with the Inside the park home run first, and now the triple. So he's having a fine day. A couple of rare rare plays by Evans. Ooh, Miss Mags. Be nice, Miss Mags. So Miss Mags wants that seat. Mags is get a whole other seat right there. Apparently Miss Mags likes that seat better, even though I bought the other seat for her. Mags, get in the other seat. She seems to have her favorites there. Maybe that seat's a little bit warmer right there. Perhaps that part of the heater works, but there we go. All right, there you go. You guys get along now. Come on. Let's see what she does here. All right, you settle down right there, Mags. Right. Let's see what she does here. Mags, you'd be good. Brody was there first. Alright, so two down in the Boston 8th. Evans at third now, with after the triple. Freddie Lynn steps to the plate. We'll let him swing away. Oh, one count. It's going to be a ground ball. Scott over to Allen, and that'll do it for the Red Sox. 
Um, there's seven and a half. It's still 10-1 Boston. Perry out there for his eighth inning of work. And I think we might bring in Gossage in the ninth just to get some work. He did pitch in the last game um, off camera, so we'll see. We'll see if he look if he's got still got some gas left in him. We'll see how Perry's doing too. Perry's pitch count is 122 now, so yeah, I think we're definitely gonna get rid of him soon. Ooh, that's gonna be a long fly ball deep, and that's gonna be off the wall. Probably shouldn't have pitched around Mitchell, as Mitchell's gonna have himself a leadoff triple. Maybe one more batter. We'll see. Wayne Gross up now. Gross over two. And this should be deep enough to get the run home. Rice comes in, makes the catch. And Page tags and scores the second Oakland run. So 10 2 now. So North up now. North hitless on the day. And he'll draw the walk so he gets on base for the first time. And I think that is going to be it for Perry. He's tired. He's up to 134 pitches. So we're going to replace him now. And, oh, we didn't have anybody warming up though, did we? Keep forgetting with out of the park, you have to have people warm up uh, with our set the more setting we have on it. All right, so let's get somebody warming up anyway. You don't want to get him injured. Yeah, I guess we could have Gossage. I'm just hoping if you let Gossage in now, though, you don't want to. Oops. Well, let's warm him up. I don't think we're going to... Let's see here. Oops. Alright, let's put Willoughby warming up. And we'll see. I don't know if we're going to use Gossage, but we'll warm him up anyway. Alright. So Perry's got to do with it. one more batter. Let's visit here. It's your call. Okay. All right, we're not going to change him yet. We're going to pitch him one more batter. So Earl Williams up now. Solo home run off Perry in the second. And that's going to be, oh, it's going to be past the dive of Burleson. Can't quite get to that one. All right, so I think that is going to be it now. Oh, he's not ready yet. Come on. <laughs> Alright, looks like we gotta pitch to one more batter here. Nice we can get two here, and we do. Excellent. Alright, so let's go. Let's substitute. Yeah, we'll be in Willoughby. I don't want to really waste Gossage if we don't have to. So we'll set him down. Yes. Hopefully we'll get a close game soon. If not, we'll bring him in the next game. Alright, so Burleson, top of the order for the Red Sox. Burleson, Doyle, and Staub here in the ninth, up 10-1. Matt Keogh in for his fourth inning of work. Burleson will take the pitch. Strike one. 1-2 pitch, and then strikes him out. So Denny Doyle up now. Doyle, 1 for 5 with a 2-run homer. Also had another hit. Three eighty-seven from the 7th inning on, so I'm going to have him swing away here. 
Definitely a good late inning pitcher, and he draws a walk here. So one out walk. Legrand Mirage had himself an RBI double his last time up. One for three. Two one pitch. And that's us. Do they turn two? No. So it's a one. Six on the put out there. I think that was one six. I mean three six, sorry. Alright, so Stav reaches on the field his choice. Two down now for Jim Rice. He's two for five with an RBI. And that's gonna be a little pop up. Short stop. Piccolo calls for it and makes a catch. So Oakland with their work cut out for them here. Down by eight. Jim Willoughby will stay in there. And Willoughby, well, will come in. He just came in. He, I forgot where he placed him in the bottom of the inning. So he's got a record of one and two on the season. The ERA of three. 15 innings pitch, 13 hits allowed. Five earned runs. Five walks and nine strikeouts. And we'll pick around, pitch around Piccolo, who's hitless on the day. Piccolo definitely glad to see Perry out of there. And he greets Willoughby with a base hit to right. So Piccolo on for the first time today. Scott will hold him on. That brings up Dick Allen. Allen one for three on the day. One two pitch. Grounded to Burleson over second horn back to first. And they turn the 6-4-3 double play. So the A's down to their last out. Scott up now, two for four. And it's going to be a walk. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Hits him. So Scott is hit by a pitch. Armis one for four up now. Strike three. And he strikes him out, and that's going to end the ball game. So the Red Sox crush Oakland ten to two. Yes, they did crush him. So let's look at the box score quickly here. So Bonson. Ended up lasting five innings despite giving up eight runs in the first. Was pretty much shut down the Red Sox the rest of his outing. Maybe a few hits here and there. So ten hits, eight runs, all of them earned. Five walks and four strikeouts. And surrendered two home runs. One an inside the park job to Evans. And the other one a two-run homer to Denny Doyle. All the damage coming in the first. Matt Keogh. Pitched three and a third innings, allowed four hits, two runs, both of them earned, three walks and two strikeouts. And Mike Norris came on to finish it out two-thirds of an inning. Perry improves his record, evens his record at three and three now. Now one and one as a red, as a red Sox. Pitched eight innings, allowed eight hits, two runs, both of them earned, two walks and eight strikeouts. And allowed a home run to Eric, to, um... Earl Williams. Jim Willoughby came on and pitched the ninth. Allowing one hit. One one strikeout. And for the, let's see. Red Sox batters. Burke Burleson was three for five with two runs scored in an RBI. Also drew a walk. Denny Doyle, two for five with a run scored. Hit a uh, two run shot in the first to get the Red Sox start. Um, offense started. Also walked once. Rusty Staub, one for four with an RBI. Walked twice. Jim Rice was two for six with a run scored an RBI. Also left six runners on base. Colin Fisk, one for three with a run scored. Toby Hara hitless on the day with a run scored and a walk. Fisk also walked twice. George Scott, one for five with an RBI and a run scored. Evans, player of the game, definitely. With his inside the park grand slam in the first. 
Also got another hit, not a triple. So, and walked once, so Evans is player of the game, definitely. Freddie Linwood also had a good day, two for five with a couple of runs scored. As Evans did not leave anybody on base. <laughs> if they were on base, he knocked them in. So for Oakland, Scott was two for five, two for four. Armis one for five. Mitchell Page one for four with a run scored. He had himself a triple. Wayne Gross 0 for two with an RBI and a walk. Bill North a DH 0 for three with a walk. Will Williams had himself a solo home run, was two for four. Jim Tyrone, right fielder, one for four. Piccolo, one for four. And Dick Allen, one for four. So that pretty much sums it up. So to read this here, Dwight Evans helped his team muscle past the Oakland Athletics 10 to 2 in the game. Boston Hill is two for four with a home run, a triple, and a walk. He drove in four runs and scored once. The Athletics fall to 10 and 19 and continue their unspiraling. Start to the 1977 season. Evans had a big day at bat with the bases, lo bases loaded in the first inning when he hit a grand slam. Nice to put one in the win column, said Evans. It was, after we had been on a four-game losing streak. And Scott, though, is the highlight for Oakland. He's got He had three stolen bases, now it's 20 on the season. Toby Hara had an error for the Red Sox. The Red Sox were in command early and stayed that way. All right, so let's go back to the broadcast here. I don't think there's anything we need to save on here. Let's leave the game here. And we have a lot to follow achievement. Yay! First time eight, eight runs scored versus Athletics in the first inning. Cool. So an achieve, that's an achievement. Didn't know that would be an achievement. I thought the inside the park Grand Slam would have been an achievement. That would have been a cool, cool thing to unlock. All right, so let's see here. Let's see if we got any mail. Nothing going on here. Let's finish the day, I guess. Finish today. Uh, nothing new in here. So let's see what the. Uh, hold on here. All right, so let's see here. So we still got to decide what we're going to do with Butch Hobbs in here. But we'll decide that in the next. Here and let's see here. One out one week, DL zero days left. Now, I've tried to do this a couple of times. I've tried moving a guy from my 25 man roster to the minors and then tried to bring Yastrzemski back up, but it keeps saying he's injured. But here, you know, he still says he's got a high ankle sprain. Now it says out one week, so I'm just going to wait until that week goes, I guess, even though it says zero days left. I'm just going to leave him there and not touch him. So, we'll give the rest of the guys a chance to get acclimated to the team. But anyway, yeah, so this is Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. Thank you for joining me as the Red Sox get the win, but are still in last place. <laughs> as Milwaukee has slipped past them. But, see if we can go for two in a row. And actually, there's no game today either, so let's try to go another day here. And let's see who they got a game now. Another game against Oakland. So we'll see who that they're going to be facing in the next game. It's going to be Vita Blue against Louis Tiant, so that should be a good pitching matchup. We'll see you in that game. So thank you for joining me. Eric from High Ground Gaming, my co-hosts, Mr. Brody and Miss Mags. So God bless and take care. Bye-bye now.